everybody welcome back just a quick video to show you a loaded envelope or rather two loaded envelopes I've made for a swap with Sue Bishop and um, I'm not sure Sue does videos so I'm going to do this little video for my own records and also to show you what I've done so I've done two a Christmas one and a non Christmas one so we'll start with the Christmas one first and um, to start with, I've made this rather large rosette, which I did on my Cricut. It was quite tricky because although the Cricut Explore has scoring tool, it doesn't really score that well. So you do have to be careful when you're um, folding, but it cut well. And there's like little Christmas trees on the edges and stars. And then I decorated it with a... Christmas tree mounted on a gold outline and I've done a bag with a bag topper rather just a sheet of paper with a fancy edge die on there and then this is my loaded envelope it's quite crammed full I love doing these these are great fun the envelopes you can find how to make on a positively paper pup craft and also septaria 18 now i've made some little uh shapes oh gosh i'm dropping them all these are look like little epoxy uh domes and you okay oh, basically you stick them over the top of some pretty paper and then cut round them and you end up with like a nice little sticker with a domed top I know you can get the glass ones, I think they're called cabochons, something like that. Um, but these are plastic ones, quite cute. And I made a little tiny envelope on the envelope punch board for those. This envelope here has some die cuts in which are various shapes, but basically they are like little mini paper clips. They're done in Christmas papers as well. And I've tried to use some things that I got in my swaps as well, um, my pocket letter swaps. And Karen still sent me a whole load of stuff from the hobby craft range called So Cool, I think it is. Snow Cool, I can't remember. Anyway, this envelope here has some wooden Christmas elements in, different shapes in there. And then we have. A little bag full of bows die cut bows different Christmas papers and glimmer papers and I've finished it off with a topper then we have one that I've made out of patterned vellum and that has some Christmas uh, toppers in that I've these oh, I can't remember the name but uh, these are quite cute so that's that and I've just seen that that's not glued down properly at the bottom that's what you get for using a tape runner which is specifically for vellum which clearly doesn't work okay <laughs> i'll have to have a good look at that these paper clips or pegs rather i got in the range i thought they were really cute there's another one decorating the envelope and then i've made some tags which I've packaged individually, so I didn't want them to get damaged. But big die, um, die shaped, a die, <laughs> a tag die. Oh my goodness, can't get my words out. Which I've decorated with a rosette and then a pretty cut out Christmas tree and some ribbon on that one. I've made that double thickness as well. And I'll tell you what, I won't put these all back because it's going to take me a while to do. There's a gold one with another rosette in a different Christmas paper. And another silver one with a different topper on with a green, lovely green snowflake type Christmas paper. Then I've made these uh, jingle bell tree decorations which I have I'd found these on YouTube an American lady and I can't remember now the um, her name but uh, 
she'd cut out circles of card and I did the same, stuck two together and then I had glued with my hot gun some mini tinsel trim round as you can see, I hope you can see anyway and it's not too glary and um, then I've decorated them with little trees, bow, snowflakes, buttons and jingle bells so that's that this one has a large spool and I finally got my die cuts for these spools thanks to Anne Melvin for sending me the link and there's some pretty ribbon on there it's gold and silver and then I've got one of these little tiny I don't really know what they're called it's by Tim Holtz but uh, basically you can slot things in there's different holes um, and I've done cut out a load of different tags quite cute ones and um, yeah I put them in there and then I got these these are wooden backed and they've got hessian and another wooden uh, decoration on the top these were also from the range I thought they were lovely so I decided to share them with Sue and uh, put one of my epoxy resin I think that's what they're called little domes on there some Christmas paper underneath and then at the back I've put a little charm I bought these little key charm uh, I don't know what you call them um, with a little it's got a lobster clip on and uh, I've decorated it with a charm Christmas charm which actually came from Karen Steele and another little uh, tassel <laughs> I can't think of what I want to say today anyway there's my Christmas one I'm just going to move all this out of the way and repackage it off camera because it's going to take me a few minutes to do that so this is my Christmas one, there we are, and now my non-Christmas one, this is so pretty, I love it. Okay, so <laughs> I've got a little vellum envelope here, I think I've stuck that down with a removable, uh, yeah, a removable glue dot, and that's full of um, pearls and gems and uh, blingy things stick that back down then I've got another bag these have got some I can't open it unfortunately because the the bow on the little bag is that way and um, I had to I had to stick the topper on where it's stuck down if you know what I mean but underneath I've got these little like the epoxy resin domes but these were already made so I've shared those and in here I've got some die cuts these are like chipboard uh, die cut die cuts and a cute little unicorn eraser that's in there and then I've got a couple of little spools these are the ones my die cuts that came this one's got some washi tape on and then this one's got some pretty blue and white baker's twine on and then in here, now this was quite unusual. I got this, I purchased this off of um, someone selling some things on Facebook. And there was a sheet of vel patterned vellum. How gorgeous is that? I hope you can see this. I'm going to, yes, you can. So, and then a lot of them had like little quotes on. And that one there, aren't they gorgeous? So I shared some of those with Sue. Oh, go on, in you go. There we are. Made a little vellum, another pattern vellum envelope for those. And then I made some, put together some tags. These are gorgeous. I love these. I've made these... Um, just on my computer I printed out a word document and I made uh, just typed sentiments words 
and uh, cut them out and then I went round the edge with some uh, I think it's antique linen uh, oxide ink and yeah finished it off with some lace along the bottom and ribbon on the top tied with some sort of natural colour baker's twine that's those and in here oh I've altered some paper clips with some die uh, not die cuts I printed these on my computer they were from the making cards magazine and you get digital downloads so these little flamingos were just I I resized them and um, they managed to fit on this lovely little uh, flower shaped die and then I've hot glued them onto the paper clips there we go and thank you to Kerry Mason for your <laughs> one of your tutorials on doing these bows on the bow maker because well that's just gorgeous I love it thank you and then here we have a large spool with some white lace wrapped around it and here I've made a desk calendar so that will stand up on the desk I've got one myself that I did last year and these were from um, I got the sizes from Jam B and uh, yeah so that's my one from last year that I made and so there's one for Sue all she'll need to do is puff up the well not puff just pull up the leaves on the daisy and the last thing is this gorgeous little wand this is so cute I used a border punch that I've got on the strip of paper before I folded it and um, then I've stamped hello as you can see and I've got a little bit of glue hair on it I think hair dry is supposed to shave that off isn't it I've not actually tried that if I remember I will um yeah on one of my paper straws that I got in Sainsbury's so there we go and oh I think I've put something on the back that's right whoops it fell out <laughs> not a very good uh back in not really big enough for this but uh, there's a pen with a beautiful flamingo on the top these are from Japan from the kawaii um is it called pen shop I think they're called anyway so cute couldn't resist it and they, they've taken absolutely ages to get here but uh yep that's stuck in the back and then all these goodies on the front so Sue I hope you like everything in here I've had such fun making it as always I love doing these things and I always say if anyone wants to do a swap with me please do let me know because well I'm only too happy to oblige it's uh it's a lovely thing and um, to be able to share your crafting supplies with people with friends and yeah there we are so that's my summery one non Christmas anyway and my Christmas one which I will have to put back together sorry it looks a bit of a mess but uh, yeah that won't fit in <laughs> um, yeah my little envelopes they're so cute four by four piece of paper and punched at two all the way around on your envelope punch board so thank you for joining me and um, I will show you the pocket letter uh, not pocket letter loaded envelope I received from Sue I think we're posting them either today or tomorrow so I'm going to start trying to package mine up now in a way that it gets to Sue in one piece so thank you for joining me and see you all again soon. Bye bye.